Secret document leaked. Ripple vs. SEC settlement. Big deadline for the SEC. Ripple news today. Garling House expects that the case, which involves XRP, will likely be concluded next year. We're seeing pretty good progress despite a slow-moving judicial process. Clearly, we're seeing good questions asked by the judge, and I think the judge realizes this is not just about Ripple. This will have broader implications, Garling House said. Today we're going to talk all about the Ripple SEC case settlement. So watch the video till the end, because today's video is going to be the bomb. Welcome to XRP Vault, your daily dose of XRP. If you're interested in everything around XRP, this is the place for you. Subscribe if you want to stay updated with all the XRP news, predictions, and stay one step ahead in the crypto world. Make sure to hit the like button for us to provide you with more XRP news. Don't forget to enable all notifications to join our weekly cash giveaway pinned in the comments. Before we get to our topic, let's take a look at the chart and see what the price of XRP is doing on the 12th of December, shall we? The bulls managed to stop the downtrend, at least for now, but they're not yet strong enough to attempt a breakout. For this reason, XRP's price is consolidating between the key support, 75 cents, and resistance, 89 cents. The first attempt to break above the key resistance last Thursday was rejected by the bears, and the price continues to be stuck within a tight range. The longer XRP sits within this range, the more favorable the conditions will become for bulls to attempt another breakout. The indicators give some early signs that XRP may decide to move higher in the near future. This will be confirmed if the price manages to break the key resistance at 89 cents. At the time of this post, XRP is still consolidating between the key levels, and it may take some time before another breakout attempt. Now let's get back to the topic. The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit has gone silent which has led some within the XRP community to speculate a possible settlement was in the works. The digital asset ecosystem awaits regulatory clarity from the U.S. Congress, but jurisprudence stemming from the SEC versus Ripple lawsuit will be also welcomed. While industry leaders offer their thoughts for an ideal framework, including Ripple proposing minimal oversight from the SEC, which has been hostile towards crypto, the cryptocurrency lawsuit of the century has gone quiet, leaving many to wonder why is a settlement in the works in the XRP lawsuit. The SEC versus Ripple lawsuit has gone silent, which has led some within the XRP community to speculate a possible settlement was in the works. This would not be the first time that such suspicions are raised. In late July, attorney Jeremy Hogan identified a number of strange things culminating in the silence from Ripple after the scheduled deposition of William Hinman. His view at the time was that a settlement was likely taking place, but later events proved him wrong. Much has happened since then, the court has ordered both parties to hand over several documents that can be used as evidence to support their cases. What's the news in the SEC vs. Ripple case? Judge Sarah Nutburn has ordered Ripple to deliver more recordings of its meetings. The SEC will be looking for whether the individual defendants and Ripple executives talk about XRP more like a share of stock rather than a digital token. The SEC, on the other hand, has been ordered to explain a lot via requests for admission on many fronts from XRP sales offshore to questions relating to the fair notice defense and whether the XRP ledger was fully functional when the sales took place in 2013. The Hogan attorneys offered their analysis on this major win for Ripple. As to the XRP lawsuit agenda, we're still waiting for news about Ripple's Slack messages, but most importantly, the SEC documents that the agency claims are privileged and went under the judges in camera review, including documents that could prove the SEC lied to the court. Will they be regarded as privileged or be handed over to Ripple? Also pending are the big motions, Garlinghouse and Larson's motion to dismiss the complaint against them and the SEC's motion to strike the fair notice defense. Jeremy Hogan explains expert discovery. Attorney Jeremy Hogan has produced a video explaining what's going on in court at the moment, expert discovery. Both parties are conducting expert depositions. There are two kinds of witnesses in a case, fact witness and expert witness. An expert witness is someone who brings a special knowledge or expertise and is allowed to do something very special in court, and that is giving an opinion. If I was in the witness box and the SEC asked me if I thought if the XRP ledger was decentralized or not, there would be an objection and the judge would tell me my opinion is irrelevant and I would not be allowed to answer. Only someone with training in decentralized ledger would be allowed to give an opinion, he explained. I am certain that each side in this case have listed numerous experts and they'll be explaining all the technical aspects of the case to the judge and we can expect each deposition to last all day and each expert must prepare a report of his or her opinion and I wouldn't be surprised if there are 10 to 15 experts in total on this case. So when adding it all together, that's a lot of work going on right now in the case behind the scenes. 
Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, has also given an update on the SEC case, stating that good progress is being made. Brad Garlinghouse appears to be hopeful. Garlinghouse expects that the case, which involves XRP, will likely be concluded next year. We're seeing pretty good progress despite a slow-moving judicial process. Clearly, we're seeing good questions asked by the judge, and I think the judge realizes this is not just about Ripple. This will have broader implications, Garlinghouse said. The SEC is concerned about Ripple's ties to XRP, accusing the company and its executives of selling $1.3 billion worth of tokens in an unregistered securities offering. The company has vehemently denied that this was an ICO and has generally defended itself against SEC's allegations. One of the most high-profile cases in the crypto industry. Ripple's legal team has also stated that it has no plans to settle with the SEC. In any case, a settlement next year would be a massive release for the crypto industry. The lawsuit is one of the most high-profile cases in the market. It has frequently made headlines as both the SEC and Ripple have made headlines with their depositions, motions, and tenacity. Both SEC and Ripple have aggressively pursued their cases. Recently, Ripple's attorneys submitted extensive evidence, and the company filed a letter alleging that the SEC was negligent in processing regulatory filings. The company has stated that an IPO is very likely once the process is complete. Ripple also announced that it will help develop a digital pound CBDC in the United Kingdom, and the company launched a $250 million creator fund to support non-fungible token projects building on the XRP ledger. So that's all for today. In the end, we would like to mention that this is not a channel intended specifically to provide financial advice, and we do not ask you to invest in any company. This is merely a channel directed towards bringing educational content to your doorsteps. With that in mind, before you invest in anything, we recommend you do thorough, wide-spectrum research on the topic. Well, that's it for today's video, guys, and make sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. See you next time on XRP Vault. Bye!